In this video, we are going to see how can we update and delete the data from our backend using the Node.js API. Till now, we have done the create and read operation. So if I just click on the create, I can create some data in my backend. So let's name it as computer and the price will be 1000 and the description will be description and just created so you can see the product is added successfully and we can also read the data so if i click on it you can see the data we just entered so in this video we will create the apis to update and then delete the data from our backend so watch this video till the end and if you are new to the channel consider subscribing and press that bell icon so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded and if you don't know how to set up node.js on your system and create the apis for create and read you can watch our previous videos so you will understand everything properly and after that you can continue it so let's start Okay, so here is our application running and let's just focus on the update first. So in the lib, we have a update dot in which we have this code. So this is the update screen and here we are returning a scaffold. And after that in the body, I'm just returning a future builder. In the future, I'm using the api.get product, the api we created in the last video. And after that, I'm just displaying the product. And here on the trailing, I have a button on the click of which we are navigated to edit screen so this edit screen is a stateful widget and we have a parameter named data which is of type product and after that we have these three text editing controllers and in the init state we are just initializing them with the data value we get from this parameter and after that in the scaffold we are just returning these three text fields and here are the controllers assigned to them and after that on the click of this button we are going to update the data so first of all let's create the update api so here is our node server and here you can see that we have these post api and get api and now we are working on the update api so it will be update api now to update the data we have two methods one is our put method and the other is our patch method so what is the difference between put and patch so if you want to update the whole product means if you want to replace the old product with the new product then you can use your put method but if you want to update only the name of your old product then you can use your patch so if you are using the put method you have to pass all the fields that will be replaced with the old object but if you are using the patch you can only pass a single field that you want to update so let's just check our patch put first let's check our put method first so it will be our app dot put and in here we need to pass the api endpoint so it will be api slash and let's say update and after that slash and now we need to pass the id of the object so we can get that specific object from our list so it will be colon and id so here the colon id is the route parameter so after that we have to pass the request and response and after that this is our put api ready so now we need to get the id from our route so let's say let and it will be id is equal to our request dot params as it is from the parameter and after that it is our id so it will get the id and you can see that it is of type string but we want it in a integer for that i need to multiply it one so it will return an integer here okay so after that we want to get that specific product from our list for that let's say let product to update and here we need to say product data in which all the products are saved dot find and in here we need to add an object so it will be p dollar sign so this p will iterate all the objects in our list so i want to find the object dot id where it matches exactly these are the three equals exactly with the id we get from our url and after it is 
fetched it will be saved to the product to update and after that we need to find the index of this object so it will be let index and it can be product data dot index of and from the whole list of products i want to get the index of the product we just matched here and okay so here is our index and after that we can simply just replace the old data with the new data for that we need to say product data and according to the index and the data available at this index i want to replace it with the request dot body so whatever the data is received from this request i am setting it at this place and after that i can just respond back so response dot status and the status will be 200 dot send so i can send a response that status is success and after that i can also send a message so the message will be product updated and just save it okay so here is our put api ready and now we can use it for that let's just copy this thing and go to your flutter code and in here we need to go to the services and api dot dot and in here we need to create another method so it will be our update put method so it will be static update method update product after that it will be async and here we need to get a url so it will be var url is equal to uri.parse and here we need to pass the base url plus our url that we get from the api so in the place of this colon id we can get the exact id from the parameter so let's say it will be id and after that we also want to get the body so it will be body okay so here is the url now we can send a request so let's say final res and it will be equal to await http dot put because we are using the put method and in here after this url we need to pass the body so it will be our body and after that we need to check if the status code is equal to 200 then i will just say print and here json decode restart body and if this is not the case i want to print that update data and just save it and now we can pass it to the update so if you can see we have a id here so let's go to our model and in here product model and you can see that we have these three values here but we want an id also so it will be final string and id and after that we need to say this dot id also so now we need to go to the update dot dot and in here when we are fetching the data in the get method we need to go and when we are assigning the data to the list we need to pass our id and the id will be equal to value and from this value i want to pass the id and just save it and as the value will be in int we need to convert it to string okay so everything is ready let's restart it and now we need to start the server so every time you make some changes to the server you need to restart it so that you can see the updated values so let's say node index.js and now the server is ready okay so now we need to go to the update and from here we need to go to the edit screen and in here on the click of this button i want to call that api so it will be api that update product and in here we need to pass the id and the body so i will say widget dot data dot id and for the body i need to pass the whole body so for that p name and it is equal to name controller dot text and after that p description and it will be description controller dot text and p price will be equal to our price controller dot text and after that id will be equal to our widget dot data dot id so now we need to create some data in our backend so let's create so it will be our mouse price will be 100 and the description is del 
and you can see that there is an issue so to fix it we need to go to the settings of our emulator and in here we need to go to the settings proxy and in here we need to set the proxy and after that apply so we can see the success here okay so now we can send the request clear it send a request and you can see that the product is added so here you can also see okay so now we need to hit the update for that we need to go to the update here is our mouse okay so after that we need to say instead of this mouse i want a pencil and the price will be 10 and the pencil is of piano update and you can see that the message product updated and if I just come back and refresh it you can see that we have a pencil here with price 10 and in the update section you can also see okay so this is how you can update your product in your backend so if you just look at this API you can see that we are just replacing the old product with the new product and we are just passing the whole product mean all the values so instead of this put and patch we can simply use a post here as we are just passing all the values so if i use post then everything will be same and just save it there is no need to change so let's go back restart our application but before that let's go to the api dot and in here instead of this http dot put we need to use a post here because i just wanted to tell you the difference between the put and patch so i hope you got it now if i just try to update it you will see everything will be same so for the name it will be our computer and for the price it will be 100 and the computer is of dell and just update and here is an issue that failed to update data as we have just changed this from put to post so we need to restart our server so just close it restart it again and let's go to the create and create another so it will be pencil 10 and piano create data after that go to update edit and instead of this pencil i want a computer price will be 100 and the type will be Dell. and just click on this update you can see that the product is updated and here you can see okay so we are not displaying anything okay so if we just come back and read it you can see that instead of the pencil we have a computer here and the same in the update section so everything will be same okay so this is how you can update and now let's come to this delete part and let's create an api for this so let's go to our node server and close it clear it to delete the product we can use app.delete or we can use our app.post because we will simply pass the id of that object that we want to delete and in here we need to say slash api slash delete slash and now we need to pass the id and after that we need to send a request sorry we need to set a method as a request and response and okay our delete api is ready and in here let's just copy this thing so that we can find that exact object and after that to delete our object from the product we need to say product data dot splice and in here we need to pass the index so the index will be index and after that the number of items we want to delete so i only want to delete one number and after that let's send a response back so the status will be 204 as it is for content not found and after that we can send so let's just send a status as success and after that the message will be product deleted okay so just keep it like this okay so our delete api is also ready so what we can do let's start our server 
so it will be node index.js and now in the api dot dot let's create another one so it will be delete method and it will be static delete product so in here we need to pass the idea only and after that it will be an async method so var url will be equal to uri.parse let me scroll it and after that it will be base url plus our delete and after that we need to pass the id here final rest is equal to await http dot delete if you are using the delete method but we are using the post one so i will use post and after this url we don't want to pass anything we don't want to pass any body or okay so after that let's say if rest dot status code is equal to 204 then say print and it will be json decode rest dot body and if this is not the case then say print fail to delete delete and okay so our delete method is also ready so if i just click on this delete button we need to navigate so here you can see that we have a delete dot dot and let's go to the home copy this navigator method paste it here and change the screen to delete screen import it okay so if i click on it this is our delete operation as we have just restarted our server we need to create some data so let's say mouse hundred and good mouse and after that let's create another one so it will be our pencil 10,000 and piano pencil create data okay so if we can read it we can see we have these two products and in the update if we want to update we can update it and now in the delete if we want to delete it we need to click on this delete so go to the delete the dot and it is same as the update but instead of that edit screen i'm just using a button here so if i just press on this button i want to delete it so as this is a stateful widget so on the click of it it will be removed so it will be api.delete and in here we need to pass the id so the id is our pdata index and from this index it is our id and just save it and after that we also need to remove it from this pdata so let's say pdata dot remove at and we want to remove at the index and just save it and after that use a set state okay so let's refresh it in the read as you can see we have these two and if i click on this delete for the pencil okay so it is removed from the list but we are seeing an error that the connection closed before full header was received okay so all the crud operations are done mm, let's just add an await here and also an sync okay so let's just recap everything on the click of this create button we can create data so this is our dummy data create it and on the click of read we can read this data and on the click of this update we can update the data so let's update the name as new name update and if we can read it you can see new name okay so on the click of this delete button we can delete the data so if i just click on it you can see that the product data is deleted and data is deleted from here also and if i click on the read now you can see there is no data so this is how you can create your own apis and store the data in your backend using the node.js so in the next video we will connect this node.js api to the backend which will be our mongodb so see you in the next one till that allah is